hi scorpio welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are doing well today this is going to be for scorpio sun moon rising venus and north node please remember to flip and switch the roles i could be talking about someone else in your energy also remember to just take what resonates and leave what does not fit for your situation so let's see what you guys could be expecting let's see what's coming in towards you guys okay please be aware of a fake page that is in the comments um trying to get you guys payment information for personal readings i'm not doing those right now um and yeah you know just watch out for that i don't have a whatsapp i will never come towards you and ask you for a personal reading you guys always come towards the reader to ask for personal so you know just be mindful use your intuition all right use your intuition here because that is not me so Let's see what's coming in for Scorpio spirit. What is coming in for Scorpio? What does Scorpio need to hear? What do they need to know about what is coming towards them? What is coming towards Scorpio? What is coming towards Scorpio? Let's see. So your overall energy is the Hermit, Virgo energy. Okay. The Hermit and the Eight of Cups. So, hmm. So you could be dealing with the Virgo or you have Virgo in your chart somewhere, okay, or your person does or however it's going. But I'm definitely getting with the, the Hermit and the Eight of Cups, you are getting the fuck away from something. You're trying to ghost the situation. I feel like in a healthy way, though, I feel like you've done some introspection or you are going to be doing some introspection here. You're going to be going within to get in your heart space here to heal some heartbreak, okay, you're going to have help and support, though, with this Six of Pentacles. Something is going to be balanced and restored in your life. Okay. But I'm definitely getting a, a time to do some soul searching here. Go within, sit by yourself. Because something was making you unhappy or it is making you unhappy currently. So I feel like you're going to be walking away from something. You're going to have to go within to figure something out. And I feel like it has something to do with your heart space. But I'm strongly getting you're walking away from a situation that's not emotionally fulfilling. Some of you guys could even need therapy or a counselor here that, that's going to help you heal from something that's heartbreaking. Okay, you guys could have just recently went through a breakup or a connection has ended or something like that. You're walking away from something, though. But you might need a therapy or support here. Nothing wrong with that. I'm just, you know, pointing it out. But I feel like you guys are very wise. You're very, you're very mature. And so you see what's going on with you and around you. So I feel like you're just going to go within and shine a light on a few things doing some shadow work here but i'm definitely getting you needing quiet time okay you need time to sit with yourself so that's your overall energy but let's see what else is coming in for scorpio what could they be expecting what is coming in for scorpio okay so the queen of swords yeah so you're setting boundaries aquarius libra and uh, gemini energy so you have your sword up you set strong boundaries yeah you cut somebody the fuck off and I feel like you were very blunt and you said what you had to say and that's final. Okay. Yeah, three of cups in reverse. Yeah, this is like a cancel celebration or you cancel something with somebody or call some, something off. I feel like um, this is gossiping as well. This is malicious gossip. Somebody could be speaking or saying some shit about you. It could be a third party that's talking shit about you or whatever the case. Okay, I feel like people are, whoever this is that you cut off is very lonely or something with this three of cups in reverse. This could be overindulgence in something as well. You could be realizing you have certain addictions that you didn't know were there. Or at least are these people around you. We're going to clarify and see what that is. But I'm I'm strongly getting, you cut somebody off. You're, you're cutting them off for good. You're not going backwards. You don't want to party or celebrate with them anymore. It's over. It's done with. Okay, and you made it clear too. You spoke something out. You said something. The Queen of Swords is a speaker, and they speak what's on their mind too. They're very intelligent, very smart. So I feel like while you have your boundaries up with this person, you've gone within, you've turned your back on the situation, and that's just what it is. Okay, you're experiencing some big changes in your life, or this is somebody else doing this. But, um, okay, yeah, the Fool, a new beginning, yeah, the Empress. Yeah, so what else is coming in for Scorpio? Some of you guys are going through a divorce here. You canceled a whole wedding or <laughs> something. I don't know what you did. Yeah, the higher thing. You could be dealing with a Taurus. So, yeah, I feel like something has been going against your morals, your values, your integrity. And I feel like you're not standing for this shit anymore. 
okay, I'm getting intuitively that you always felt something was off about these people or this person in particular. So I feel like you're cutting them off here. Yeah, you're conforming to something or you're doing something by the book here with the Hierophant. You're, you're keeping faith in a situation as well. There could be a commitment coming in after you leave somebody or these people in the past or something. There could be a commitment coming. Somebody could have a Taurus or um, Scorpio um, North Node or South Node, one or the other. But I'm getting somebody's going to be cut out. You guys could be going to court for something too with this higher thing. Yeah, we're going to see what's going on here. What what else is coming in for Scorpio? Thank you. What else is coming in for? Okay. Love you. Give me a second, Scorpio. Love you. So the chariot in reverse, yes, yeah, something is, is blocked here. Something is not moving forward. The chariot, you could be dealing with the cancer. Somebody, I feel like somebody is blocked from coming towards you, Scorpio. Or this could be your person going through this. So flip and switch it. But I'm feeling like you're going within to see why something is blocked. Mommy, huh? Is it too easy to leave? Yes, he's coming back. Okay, because we're going to have fun today. So, um... The chariot, yeah, somebody is lost or or this is like feeling lost, like ha having no sense of direction here. Somebody could be having car issues as well with the chariot in reverse. Okay, we're going to clarify this, Scorpio, because y'all know y'all get some deep readings, man. The chariot in reverse could also talk about coerce, like somebody's trying to coerce you into doing something. And I feel like you're going within to see that it's not the right choice. Yeah, something goes against your, your morals, like somebody around you doesn't have any fucking morals or they just... Mm -hmm. But I feel like you're going within to see why something is blocked. It could be your love life is blocked. It could be um, anything that you're trying to implement, like a strategy or a plan to do something as far as a business goes is blocked <clears throat> for a certain reason. I feel like it's, it's calling for you to go deep within and be honest with yourself, Queen of Swords. Be authentic. Be real about what's blocking you from moving forward here. So let's see what's coming in for Scorpio. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, so the Ace of Cups, and then we have the Three of Wands. Yeah, you're you're completely turning your back. Yeah, th this is a third party situation. So you could you guys could be seeing three 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 or thirty three. You guys could be at age thirty three. Those numbers could be significant, but I'm definitely getting you're going towards new love, and you're not letting nobody stop you. Yeah, and this is you showing yourself love here because I feel like you're seeing what's blocking you, and you you've had enough here. You really had enough of something or someone. Three of Wands. Yeah, you turned your back and you have a sense of foresight. So where you were blocked before, I feel like that's going to be unblocked and you can move forward here. There's like a growth and expansion coming in. Yeah, you had to cut somebody ass off. Yeah, wow. King of Cups, Queen of Cups, Three of Swords, King of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody is going to be mad because you're going into a relationship here with your person, your divine counterpart, somebody that has... That's on your same wavelength. They vibrate the same as you. This is somebody that has feelings for you just like you do them. Okay. But I feel like there's something in, in your heart space here from your past. You have to, yeah, you have to forgive your past, Scorpio, in order to get this. There's somebody that, that you could have kids with that's like, this person, somebody here could be running away from their responsibilities. They're trying to get away from something. Somebody in your family, they're going to have to pay you for something. Okay, I'm getting a lot of shit here, but the Three of Wands is looking forward to the like future energies. This could be in travel as well. You're getting away from someone or something. Yeah, what else for Scorpio? What else is coming in for Scorpio? Hmm. Very interesting reading to start. What else is coming in for Scorpio? Okay, justice flipped in reverse. Yeah, something is just... Uh, Somebody's getting bad karma. Somebody could be in trouble with the law as well. And they're going to have to conform with the hyphen upright. 
this is a lot this is like truth on i mean truth and dis i mean <laughs> sorry dishonesty and bad karma whatever this is is bad karma somebody just refuses to take accountability for their actions possibly here with the justice in reverse but this is something that's unbalanced yeah something is just um somebody's getting bad karma for something that they did to you they are their ass is getting karma for something these lies that they told or whatever the fuck this is somebody could have did something that went against the law they ass could be getting sent away they're trying to somebody's trying to get away from something they're running away from their karma or something like that excuse me you could be dealing with the libra Some yeah, I do have hic hiccups. Um, that's me getting downloads, y'all. When I start hiccuping and shit, <laughs> so somebody here tried to outsmart a spiritual a spiritual guru. Somebody here could be an earth angel. Is what I'm getting intuitively, and somebody tried to, try to cause imbalance or try to. Do something that was unfair to someone here. I'm definitely getting something about revenge too. Somebody wants revenge and they they think that they're karma, but it's going to backfire. They think that they're trying to get back at you for something. It's going to backfire because oh, who the fuck do they think they are? I don't know. <laughs> like, okay, so let's see what's going on here, man. This is crazy. What is um the hermit for Scorpio? <clears throat> What is this hermit for Scorpio? <clears throat> yeah, the world. Yeah, something is closed out and you're protecting and guarding your energy. I feel like you're protecting your energy from somebody. Somebody's just toxic. Because I'm definitely getting a toxic energy. I feel like what's coming to light is you're seeing what this person was doing or, or, or how they were holding you back. Yeah, the moon, the unseen. Yeah, children. Yeah, man is significant. Crossroads, teamwork. This person could have been working with a third party to team up against you or to cause. They did something that was unfair, though. We finna see. You could be dealing with a Libra, Taurus. So a lot of Venus energies could have something to do with the love situation. Cancer energy is here. Virgo, significant. What is this hermit for um, Scorpio? What's the hermit? Yeah. So you're healing. Yeah, you're healing from something. And this does have something to do with your love life, your commitment. Okay, you could have commitment issues or somebody that you're dealing with, Scorpio, could be. This could be somebody here that runs away from good shit, okay? They run away from commitment. They don't want to be abandoned. So they try to leave shit before somebody could leave them type thing. And I feel like they didn't know they were being affected by their past. Like past hurts and past wounds. And a person that has done this to them or treated them unfairly, continuously, has probably... I don't know, came back around in a sense because somebody is cutting someone off. So we do have commitment, wedding, and next level. Yeah, so in order to get this wedding or this next level, this phase of this relationship is blocked because somebody here needs to go within, yeah, and figure out what's going to truly make them happy or figure out or choose their happiness over whatever this shit is. This third party situation or whatever the fuck this is that happened here, somebody needs to go within to figure some things out. Somebody could be trying to coerce you into going in a different direction and leaving this person that you want to be with in the past is what I'm getting. They want they 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 want they want you to leave this person out. Somebody here wants you to not have a sense of direction or to be confused or to have to walk away from a situation. But I'm I'm definitely getting something is going to the next level. A commitment is after this time of introspection or going within to see deeply what is going on with you and to really be honest with yourself. So we have step-by-step step everything in this time. Yeah, so just be patient. Take your time. Don't rush it. Do what you have to do to um, make your relationship healthier if you're going towards new love here with the Ace of Cups, Scorpio, or vice versa. Yeah, happiness. Feeling happy about your life. An incident that made you happy. A smoother ride through life. Feeling on top of the world. Yes, yeah, so I'm getting. You're coming out of this happy. Secure, stable is what I'm getting. You're coming out of this really, really happy once you do this. Whatever this is for you. 
Yeah, guarded, protected. Yeah, you're going within, yeah, the moon. You're really going within to see why you're so guarded or protecting yourself from what's actually making you happy. It's, it could be abandonment issues, fear of commitment or something like that could be going on here. And maybe you're subconsciously not knowing that that's what your issue is. Because every time you get something good, you sabotage it by trying to like overthink it or figure trying to figure somebody out figure out if they're doing you dirty or not you know don't don't let that affect your love life scorpio so i feel like you're going with them to figure things out and then your commitment is going to move to the next level but i feel like somebody could be around you that's helping you go through this helping you push through these fears because i feel like it's fear i feel like you go shit or you try to leave people when things get too good or something looks too good to be true <clears throat> you don't believe that you can be happy or somebody doesn't so okay but something here makes you happy though you see that it's making you happy but you're understanding that there's a blockage here you need to work on something within yourself or your person does okay so what's this queen of swords what's this queen of swords yeah because somebody is quite cold or closed off or something or whatever the case okay the health came in reverse emotional and better habits so yeah it's something about your emotional health because you it looks like somebody here is very cold Somebody here is very serious, very, um, they're blocked from out of their heart space in a sense. And it could be affecting your relationships. For some of you guys, you have a, a you could have been emotionally abused here before, which could be a problem here. Or it could be, um, can you lock the door for mommy? Can you go lock the door, please? I don't, I have to get you to... And then I'll get you your food after, because it was quite early. I'll get I you some food. I'm going to get you, I'm going to get my coffee. You gonna get your what? I'm gonna get your bubbles. How are you gonna do that? Because I'm six. Okay, you six. Okay, excuse me. You getting two of them? You getting two of those? Okay, you know how to put it on the plate? How are you gonna get your plate? Oh, it's a plate right there on the it's a plate <clears throat> that's sitting right there. If you need my help, I'll come get get it for you. But <clears throat> Okay, well you gotta give mommy a second then. You got to give mommy a second. Just close it and wait. Close it. I'll come help you. Okay, I'll come help you. I'll come help you. Just wait. Just give me a minute. So, okay. So, so yeah, what I'm getting is you could be very, um, I feel like you're just trying to protect yourself. You're guarding yourself from whatever this is, but this is a new opportunity that I feel like is going to work. I do, but I feel like your emotions are kind of like you've been shut off or something like that. It's going to cause you to go deep within. Yeah. So, so yeah, we have trial and error, experimenting with your life and experience, close the refriger refrigerator, close the freezer, experimenting with your life and experience in a job or situation, willingness to try new things, exploring all possibilities. Yeah. So you are, I feel like you're learning how to set healthy boundaries with people yeah, because maybe what you were doing was unhealthy. I feel like you were closed off completely. Now you're learning how to open up or you're going to be, right? Um, and you're, you're going to learn how to communicate much better as well as what I'm getting too. Because maybe your communication was not as healthy as it is going to be going forward. Yeah, because then we have gift, reward, and offer. So somebody is coming in with an offer towards you. It could be some type of gift or love offer here with the Ace of Cups being under this. So I feel like something is, is helping you grow. It could be a relationship that's helping you grow. It's helping you to see that you've been too hard on yourself or too hard or too closed off. And you're going within to see why. Yeah, you're rebuilding yourself. Rebuilding your life after loss. Investing a lot of effort. Ready to take action to improve and determination and drive. Yeah, so... And I feel like it's something... Um, in your life that you're cutting off or it could just be you're realizing why you're why you're lonely or you have like health issue mental health issues or emotional health issues that you could need to go see a therapist about possibly for some of you okay so yeah so so deep so far scorpio yeah somebody wants to build something with you <laughs> Hmm, very interesting. So, I feel like somebody here has just been through a lot of shit, man. They've been through a lot of shit. Somebody's love life was blocked for a while. They had to learn something about their past or learn something that they were doing that was wrong here. Okay, involving their love life. What's the, um, yeah, you met somebody new. That was a new love card. What is the Three of Cups in Reverse? 
yeah empty alone unfulfilled that is the three of cups what's this three of cups in reverse with this empty card yeah so so yeah so the star so this is somebody that could be seen in the public eye here somebody could be a star but i'm definitely getting yeah this is it's showing again playfulness new love and flirting and then we have evil eyes so somebody could be uh, like i was feeling scorpio they could be trying to project that energy onto y'all's new relationship you and your person it's a third party here that's doing that and it's hoping you to go within to see that yes you have issues too but yeah it's somebody around you that was doing this too <laughs> and to you to make you feel this way Somebody here doesn't want you to get new love. Okay, so we have empty, alone, and unfulfilled. Yeah, so I feel like whoever you were dealing with or whoever this third-party energy is that's outside of you and this person that you're dating or that you're going to be dating, they're going to be feeling empty and unfulfilled here. Where at one point they feel like you were going to get back with them or you were going to fill their cup up with love again or whatever. It's not happening. They're alone and you're going through this rebirth, recovering and restoring yourself. Okay, Scorpio energy. That could be another Scorpio you're dealing with or... You could be, uh, you could have Scorpio in your chart somewhere. This person does. But yeah, I feel like you're healing. You're growing. The star says, wish fulfillment, blessings, wealth and fame, becoming quite popular, brand new and hopeful life. Yeah, so you are going towards new love. A new love situation that's going to actually make you happy, Scorpio. You know, um, but you were having to cut someone out. And this triggered you into realizing that this person has deeply wounded you is what I'm getting. Yeah, this person has cut you really, really deep. So you're doing the work in order to accept this new love offer because this make this is making you happy. Somebody here loves you or you love them or whatever. Shit. And I feel like all you're doing is just growing. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. Somebody here could be an Aquarius. But you're, all you're doing is growing. You're outgrowing the bullshit that's around you. People projecting that negative energy on you when it comes down to love. Okay. And how you... um show up in in a relationship here and shit like that you're learning something something was very karmic in your past and it wounded you really badly and you didn't see how it was affecting your new relationships or this person was purposely trying to block you from love okay whoever this is it's third party in your energy so yeah the healer needs healing too okay bomb ass title let's see <laughs> Let's see. Let me write this down. Sorry. Okay. So let's see. What is this hierophant here? Because you do want something traditional. What's the hierophant? You want the marriage, the commitment, the this, the that, you know. And spirit is getting you prepared for it. Let's see. Okay. All right, so we have mountain. It says obstacles and challenges, possible delays, patience needed and requires perseverance. Yeah, so keep pushing forward. Okay, keep standing in your truth. Keep having faith here with the hierophant. This is a card of faith, um, values, morals. Okay, your integrity here. Yeah, I feel like it took you a while to overcome whatever these obstacles were so you um, could get this new love or this commitment that could be coming in for you. I feel like it was some type of hurdle or sh or something here that you had to go through first, Scorpio, to get whatever this is. But it's it's coming. Okay, it says early stages, innocence and new. So yeah, you you could be in the early stages of a commitment, or this is just you going through a rebirth here. You're starting over. Your life is new. It's fresh. You're starting over from the ground up here. You've made mistakes here, and people around you have kind of done you dirty. But I feel like you're coming out new. A new you has emerged. What, what? Whose title did I get for this here? You could be dealing with a Virgo because I put new levels, <clears throat> new devils for that one. Um, I think I did that in a collective reading where I said a new you has emerged. So you might resonate with my collective reading that I just did probably like two days ago. But I'm strongly getting... <clears throat> Just be patient with yourself and let this relationship build, okay, how it's supposed to be built. Let things go and let it be natural. Okay, yeah, because we have mixed emotions, complex and bittersweet. Yeah, so you are, you're having mixed emotions. I, I don't feel like about the relationship per se. I just feel like it's about a lot of things from your past has affected you. Okay, you're having to leave a lot of things behind. People that you thought was, was for you and your friends and shit like that. I feel like there's a lot of gossip too. Because you're, 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 you're growing. You're moving away from whatever this is. A lot of these people, are they need your energy. They're energy harvesting. So they, they're kind of like upset about that. But I'm definitely getting it's bittersweet because then we have good health. Changing nutrition habits, setting up a workout program, work-life balance, and routine checkups at the doctor. Some of you guys could need to visit a doctor here. 
Okay, but I'm definitely getting something is healing your heart space. A lot about your heart space here that's being highlighted on this card. Okay, if something is healthier, you're learning how to um, build healthy boundaries and not be too strict or too closed off. You, you, you have a healthy balance with your heart space. And it's going to be good for this new relationship that you're going to be in, Scorpio, or something like that is what I'm getting. Yeah. So... <clears throat> Yeah, you're coming out of a very difficult time here. You could be feeling one way one day and then the next day you feel a different way. It's because you're transforming. You're transforming. You're rebalancing yourself. Spirit is trying to get you to open your heart to love or something like that. So what's this chariot in reverse? Yeah. Okay. What's the chariot in reverse? Okay, yeah, roller coaster. So so we have renewal, powerful inner transformation, leave old flames, embrace the new. Yeah, release of energy and emotions and playing with fire. So I'm definitely getting some of you guys need a good cry. Automatically is what I just heard. Yeah, because the love offer is coming in. It is. I, I strongly felt that anyways. Yeah, um, you guys are healing a lot of abandonment wounds is what I'm getting too strongly. But this is a, this, um... The chariot in reverse, something here is blocked until you go through this transformation or whatever the case. And it's all happening in divine order. So ain't no need to sit and be like, well, when is this going to happen? Or da, da 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 I feel like that's what you're doing with this new commitment. You're trying to figure out when something is going to happen or when you're going to get love. It's coming in from somebody here. Somebody loves you. They're going to give you an offer. <clears throat> After rebuilding yourself and understanding who you are and what you need to do to work through these issues that you have deep within you, then that's when it's going to come in because then you will know what you have to do. I feel like you're working through your fears too. You're definitely working through fears and anxieties. So good job, Scorpio. I feel like that's good. I really do. Yeah. So it says, um, this could be somebody from your past. I feel like you're dealing with somebody from a past life here that's helping you go within as well. Is what I'm getting. Or you're going to meet this person. They're going to help you do this here. This is somebody that's going to help you push forward. So that definitely a good, a good partner to have if they're helping you do this. <laughs> and helping you transform here because i feel like you were done dirty something wasn't fair to whoever this hierophant person is this teacher this leader this this spiritual guidance person you know a therapist or whoever you are right i feel like something was done wrong to you <laughs> in your past it wasn't fair um but definitely transformation so we have roller coaster instability ups and downs yes yeah, so you could be feeling Things are up and down in your life. Your emotions are all over the place right now. <clears throat> then we have Owl. Deep shadow work. Yeah, witchcraft or magic. Inner wisdom, spiritual evolution, learning hard lessons. Yeah, so, so this is what's going on here. You're doing the work. Somebody is. You are your person. You're definitely doing the work here. You are. So let's see what this Owl card is. What's this deep shadow work, witchcraft or magic? What is this? Let's see what this is. Clean it up. Yeah, what a mess. Clean it up and mistake. So something here, I'm just getting, you made a lot of mistakes in the past here. Somebody could like chocolate ice cream. <laughs> they could like chocolate ice cream here. What else for um Owl with the shadow work and witchcraft or magic? Yeah, alien. Yeah, feeling alienated in life, feeling like you don't fit in, dealings with a foreigner, new experiences in life. Yes, yeah, so you're you're doing the work here. You're doing the deep shadow work. Just period. It could have been some spell work here blocking your love life on purpose. But I feel like now that you've known that, now that you see if that's the case for some of you, you're doing the work because you're aware and you're awakened to who was doing it and why and, and whatever, you know. But I feel like you guys were alone for a lot of your time here because you needed to go within. There was a lesson that you needed to learn here. And I feel like now <clears throat> something here is blocked until you keep, until you um go within to see. I feel like it's coming in. It's going to be unblocked. <clears throat> Yeah, you were feeling lost or not having a sense of direction here or something like that. Or you kept going back to shit that was not good for you or something. But you definitely felt left out. You feel like you you never fit in here because it's because you were always different. You could be foreign or you could be dealing with somebody that's a foreigner. But it's because you were always different. 
your your life path was different from everybody else's around you here and a lot of people have betrayed your trust too so which is the reason why you're guarded now obviously is i mean you're not guarded for no reason <laughs> you know people have done shit to you and you know i feel like you're not the type of person to play victim either forever yes you are a victim of bullshit but everybody is it's your job to heal yourself you know so what's this this ace of cups yeah, divine timing. See what I'm saying? I feel like it's now or it's coming up. Yeah, a turning point. Yep. So your love life is picking up here, Scorpio. Yeah, playfulness. Having more fun in life, not taking life too seriously. Enjoying the little things in life. Careful not to go overboard. Yeah, so you are setting healthy boundaries. You don't want to go overboard because you still want the commitment that you deserve. Yeah, you're not going to let nobody trick you. But I feel like somebody is coming into your life where they're going to bring more fun, more spontaneity, more adventure. Okay, it's coming in from new love offers or this could be somebody in particular coming in that you're going to have your eyes set on here that you're going to like being with. Yeah, it's coming in divine timing. Divine timing for some of you is now, but it says something you can't control. Learn to let go. Trust in divine timing and be patient. Yeah, so I feel like you've been patient for what you wanted here. You had to close yourself off, but there was something maybe that you were missing as you were doing your shadow work here. Maybe you were blaming everybody else for what was going on with you instead of looking within to figure out what you needed to do to heal from it. What everybody else does is what they do. But I feel like a lot of people that you were around, possibly Scorpio, just projected their negative experiences onto you. Okay, type shit. And it uh, turned you cold or something like that. It kept you in a cold... Uh, it kept you from exploring new love with people. Or when you did explore new love with people, they were always the wrong choice. So I feel like right now... Yeah, restrictions, uncertainty, blockages. Then we have betrayal, deceit, and jealousy. Yeah, you've dealt with a lot of jealous ass partnerships, a lot of envious people, a lot of whatever the fuck that try to keep you stuck or bound. And it took a toll on your self image, your self worth, your self esteem. <clears throat> yeah, maybe you always had to pretend like you were something that you were not, or. Maybe you were you, you showed up as yourself, but you always attracted negative ass people and you couldn't figure out why. I feel like it's because you had somebody that was jealous of you around you. They could have been doing some fucking spell work. I, too, I strongly feel like that for some of you. But for others of you, it could be something different. But something is changing within your love life though, uh, Scorpio. It is something beautiful. So I feel like it's coming in. You're going to have more fun. And you're going to fall in love really quickly with whoever this is because this is your person. I feel like finally I'm getting is your person is coming. Okay. And this is a faded relationship. It's destiny. It's fated for you to have this new love or whatever. This was all written out already in your past life contract. <laughs> okay, so. Yeah. So, um, what's this three of wands? Okay. Yeah, breakthrough. See? What's this three of wands? Yeah, celebration. Yeah, so. Okay, yeah. So, um. We're getting breakthrough, breaking barriers, yeah. So this is so nice, Scorpio. Whoever this is, could be you or your person. This is beautiful. So it does say here that you need patience. So just be patient. Something is coming in here. I feel like you're just being triggered too. Your abandonment wounds are coming back up or something like that. But th there is something beautiful on the horizon because you've broken through something. You've turned your back on a lot of people, places, and things that are affecting your life. Okay, yeah, we have celebration, parties, social events, happy outcome, group events, socializing and going out more. Yeah, you're going to meet somebody or some of you have met somebody where you're going into a commitment. You've learned your lesson. You've learned something. You passed this test. So now beautiful things are coming in and whoever's did something to you here with this justice in reverse, they're going to get their karma. It says knowledge, learning and studying. So yeah, you have studied something. You've learned yourself. You see what your issue is and you see people around you for who they are. So you're moving forward. Which fulfillment is coming in here with the star? <clears throat> yeah, something is, is going to be beautiful here. Whatever you're waiting on is, is coming in. You could be waiting on a commitment from somebody or something like that, but it's it's coming. Or for some of you, if you don't have anybody new coming in or you're just going out to meet somebody, you're going to meet the one for you while you're out or whatever. <clears throat> yeah, beautiful energy. So you learn something. You learn a karmic lesson here. The will is turning in your favor. Good luck, blessings, and good fortune is coming towards you here in love. I'm getting strongly in love here. What's this justice in reverse? Yeah, yeah, uh, confusion. Yeah, so we have mystery, confusion, and unclarity. 
Yeah, surviving, barely hanging on, living paycheck to paycheck, burnout is knocking on your door, no savings, limited resources. I feel like this is somebody that's slowly getting out of your energy because I definitely strongly <clears throat> feel a third party energy, but they're not showing up in your reading as like a parent. Like it's not like boom in your face type shit. It's like you have to, <clears throat> I guess, feel the energies, but I feel it though. Somebody here could have been trying to affect you in some shape, form, or fashion. And they're not getting there. They're, they're getting bad karma. This person is low on funds or they're broke or whatever. Because <clears throat> they try to cause confusion or or do something here or surrounding your love life. They could have tried to block this hoe. Okay, so we have business. Work entrepreneurship, career moves, working on your career success, earning money through work. So I'm getting your business is going to flourish here, but somebody else's is not. Whoever this is, they're getting karma and it's affecting their finances here. It could be a Virgo. You could be dealing with a Virgo. What's this? Um, I don't know why I just heard Virgo. What's this surviving card? <laughs> Blown away, amazed and unexpected. Yeah, somebody's going through a tire moment that they did not expect. We have abundant self-employed business. So I feel like your business is going to flourish. Somebody else's is not. I feel like yours is taking off pretty quickly now. And somebody else's isn't. What is this surviving with this blown away, amazed, and unexpected? <coughs> For some of you, somebody was trying to use you. Yeah. They ass is, they're getting bad karma here. It says, yeah, all that glitters, illusions, and superficial. Something was fake. Yeah, it was blocking your love life here, whatever this was. And somebody's getting bad karma for this, or they just losing out. I don't know. <clears throat> but somebody here, <clears throat> we have deep thinking, thinking twice on a decision, preoccupied with one's thoughts, self-reflection, and being analytical and logical. So this is something that you've been in your head about for a lot, or this is this person here, whoever this is that's trying to, that's surviving and living paycheck to paycheck. <clears throat> they ass is, um doing some i don't know what the fuck they're doing they're trying to figure out how to fuck to to get back in good with you or or something like that is going on here <clears throat> yeah you're guarded from something yeah your love it has something to do with your love life something unexpected is coming in involving love here yeah you guys could be going on a vacation or you're going somewhere yeah third party yeah third party has gotten in the way yeah, so what is this mystery confusion card <clears throat> with this illusions? What's this mystery card? Javier, uh-uh. No. Phone call in reverse. Conversation long distance. Yeah, you're blocking. Somebody is blocked from coming towards you. Or somebody's going to call you with a bunch of lies and shit like that with this phone call in reverse. But I'm getting you block communication with someone here. Some Somebody is not, you're not speaking to somebody or... <clears throat> something like that yeah then we have reconciliation Re restoration of former connections apologies and forgiveness trying again in a different way conversation so i'm getting somebody is blocked from speaking to you they're getting their karma here somebody that wants to reconcile with you or make up or, or fix things with you yeah they need your help <laughs> and i feel like you've been very loyal to this person Yeah, this person played games with you in the past. They did something to you here to ruin a commitment with you and somebody else or just to get in the way of your love life here. They they pulled on your energy or tugged on you and caused illusions, confusion. They could have been doing spell work here to it. Yeah, they could have been doing something here to alienate you. They wanted to, your love life to be a mess. So they did something. They, they could have did something too because I feel the energy. I feel it, you know. Just let me know in the comments if that's true for your situation. They did something to... um block your love life here yeah higher power is guiding you yeah you manifested love it's coming in somebody's losing everything they're losing their money their finances here <clears throat> but i definitely feel like um somebody wanted you to just work 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 and not have love in your life because maybe they wanted you or they didn't want you to get love or whatever and now this person needs help <clears throat> and they're blocked from coming towards you here but i'm definitely getting for a lot of you you're reconciling with past life soulmates is what i'm getting <clears throat> but somebody here in your energy they want to reconcile with you this could be a past life soulmate as well but they're unhealthy they're a karmic and i feel like you're going to go be with somebody here that you're meant to be with <clears throat> yeah 
Yeah, so so very, very interesting spread here, Scorpio. Congrats, shit. I see good shit coming towards you. Everybody's going to be placed where they need to be placed. <laughs> the people that did you wrong are going to get their fucking karma. Just period. So let's see. Yeah, I saw water, emotion. So your heart space is unblocked. Somebody healed their heart chakra. Somebody's in tune with what they want now, or they can actually feel clearly when something is off or not healthy, where maybe you couldn't feel at first. You went ahead and kind of like maybe gave yourself to people that were unhealthy and it was all an illusion. Somebody, yeah, they could have did something. So we have match flame to be continued. Yeah, thank you, spirit. Thank you. Witch, spell work, black magic. Somebody was doing spell work on your on your damn love life, causing you to run or, or chase people. Uh, yeah, but it was all to help you out, though. This person put that person, that person that did that witchcraft in your life for you to, I mean, it sounds crazy, but that's what it is, though. You, you encounter these bad people for your growth. That's why they even put here. They're not put here for anything else. Shit, they're not useful any other kind of way. So I feel like they just, <laughs> they're put here for you guys to expand, uh, especially if you're a spiritualist or something. So what, what else? Can you uh, give me some more clarity, Spirit, in regards to the spray for Scorpio? Give me some more cards that align with this spread for Scorpio. Yeah, so we have sunflower, bright future, happy days. Yeah, you're unblocked from something. Yeah, turtle, slow moving, cautious, hard exterior. So I'm definitely getting take things slow. Don't be so, so impulsive like you were in the past. I feel like you're not. I feel like you're taking things pretty slow here or you're, you're learning how to, to do this. What else? But I'm definitely, you could be dealing with a Leo. Okay, we have leather belt. Yeah, tie, excuse me, tied down, restricted, and boundaries. Tools, fix, repair, build, and construction. Smoke, grenade, sabotage, explosion. Smoke. Okay, so let's let's clarify this. Let's see what this is. Yeah, race car, where you were impulsive. Yeah, chip paint, imperfection, imperfections, flaws, and layers. Yeah, you had to peel back the layers as to what was going on with you here. A lot of people could have cheated on you in your past or really done you dirty. And you fell for them, but it's because you were put under some type of illusion. I'm what is what I'm strongly getting. You were blocked from your heart space. You didn't know what was good for you and what was not. It's because you were not right. And you were your heart chakra was blocked. Very interesting. What's the sunflower? Something is going to be exposed here as well, or you're just gaining enlightenment. Okay, yeah, chocolate cupcake, tasty treat, unexpected surprise here. Something could be a celebration for you, um, Scorpio. Yeah, we have locked door, impenetrable blockage, and closed off. So I'm getting you're blocking something. Yeah, scissors, cutting ties, severing ties. Thank you, spirit. I mean, cutting out, severing ties. So you you definitely got somebody out of your way. <laughs> okay, you're clearing something out is what I'm getting for sure. Because they ass ain't showing up. They think they slick. They not. <laughs> they not because I feel it. I'm a, I'm a good energy reader. I know what I feel. Um... But yeah, you you close something off from your past here, and now you can you can see clearly, you can think clearly, you you can get in tune with your emotions better, and now you have something coming up that you're not expecting. Okay, it's happier days ahead, a happier relationship, or something like that. And I feel like at one point you were closed off, but you're not now. Something's gonna make you feel safe and secure to the point where you don't have to close yourself, and you're gonna know it because it's gonna feel healthy, right? What's this turtle? Slow moving, cautious, hard exterior. Yeah, wow. So we have cathedral, tradition, and commitment. It's coming. It says skull, death, and death, cycle, end. So yeah, something is closing out in your life and something new is happening. Yeah, letter in a bottle, unspoken words, and love notes. Yeah, wishes fulfilled. Yeah, you're getting ready to be in a relationship that's meant for you, uh, Scorpio. It's, it's here or it's coming. You're going to learn how to take things more slow, be patient with your person, and shit like that. Like, it's going to be so much more healthier. It really, really is. You're, you're breaking free of something that was not healthy for you. Spirit definitely has your back. Most definitely. This is you transforming. This is you transforming here. And you're going to move with caution. Yeah, I mean, rightfully so. But I feel like you're, that's only going to last for so long because you're going to be so open to this person to the point where you're just going to feel safe and just let it go. Let it flow the way that it needs to. This is so nice. What's this leather belt? Tied down, restricted. Okay, yeah, the moon, hidden feelings, secrets, and illusions. And then we have binoculars. Yeah, spy, lurking, inquisitive, and curious. Yeah, so, yeah, so somebody here from your past, yeah, they want to come back and apologize to you. 
somebody from your past, somebody that did this shit to you, they could have did this witchcraft or whatever the fuck they did. And now, because they're getting karma, karma has hit their ass. This is the last time they can do whatever this shit is on you. Because you've awakened to who they are. And so now you can go within and do the work. I feel like somebody was around you that was doing this. They were causing illusions. This person is spying on you. This person had you restricted or tied down or whatever. And I feel like now you set boundaries with them. And so they have no choice but to kind of like be exposed. I guess spirit is exposing them. They're looking at you from afar or they're spying on your social media. They could be doing that as well. What's this moon card? This person could have had hidden feelings for you. They didn't want you to go towards nobody else. So they kept doing this spell work or whatever to keep you stuck. What's this moon? Yeah, healing, balance, alignment. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius or Cancer or Pisces. Taurus is here. Leo, I'm getting strong. <laughs> Aquarius, Libra, Virgo, strong Virgo. What's the moon? Yeah, I feel like you're healing in silence. This person don't know what they really did. They really helped you out. <laughs> they did. Yeah, mop, sloppy mess, spill, and clean up. Yeah, now they're trying to backtrack and fix what it, whatever they did because they're going through a tower moment. Yeah, whoever this is is going through a tower. It's karma. And it's probably going to be a tower for years because they could have been doing this shit on you for years for a long time. <laughs> and they got other people in on it too to keep you stuck. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. My throat is fucked up right now. Yeah, so let's see. What is this tools fix, repair, rebuild, and construction? Somebody here could be a construction worker. Yeah, so we have fancy pink sandals, em empress, beauty, and fame. Yeah, so this is you. Somebody is seen in the public eye or this is somebody else that you're dealing with. Scorpio that has gone through a transformation or they're going through one. Okay, and yeah, somebody is repairing themselves. They're fixing themselves back up. They're rebuilding their themselves. So that way they can be prepared for this relationship with you, Scorpio, or vice versa. Okay. It says Spider-Man, superhero, invincible, yeah, invulnerable, and sneaky. Okay, I don't like that. What's the Spider-Man card? Yeah, gavel, judgment day, and final decision in reverse. Came out in reverse. What's this gavel? Some of you guys could be taking somebody to court. They're trying to get away. They're trying to uh, fly away <laughs> with the Superman card here. I mean, the Spider-Man card. <clears throat> This person is very out of tune with their feelings because it says invulnerable. Somebody here is like, uh, they pray they pray on people who they feel is weaker than them or something like that. They like saving people. They like being Captain Save a Hoe. This person could have thought that you were actually a hoe to the point where they could use you or abuse you or whatever the fuck. And that's, you became the empress. They didn't know who they were fucking with, whoever this is. And this person now, they're being sneaky. They're running away from their karma. They are. This person is getting the fuck away. They're getting back. What's the Spider-Man with the gavel in reverse? Yeah, race car. They're getting the fuck away. Reckless, impulsive, immature, and wild. Whoever this is, yeah. They, yeah, this dark witch or whoever the fuck this is. What's this Um, smoke grenade? Sabotage, explosion, and smoke. Because they know they fucked up. This is the last straw for their ass. We have um, chip paint, imperfections, flaws, and layers. Yeah, something is blowing up in somebody's face too, though. They're they're being revealed as somebody that this person. I don't know. They want to. They come off as like they're perfect or they don't have flaws or whatever the fuck. They they let this shit. They let their past, whatever happened to them in their past, affect their future. And they did. They made the wrong move with you by trying to fuck you over or whatever. Yeah, we have ladder, climbing new heights and elevate. Then we have lipstick, flirt, infidelity, and evidence. So you could have found this person cheating on you here. Somebody here could have used you for money. Somebody is somebody is calculating their finances to get you a ring here. They're going to put it in a box or something. Yeah, fate, chance. Something here is going to be so nice for you. I feel like you're going to be winding down. You're going to be gifted nice things here by this person that's coming in, this new person or whatever. Something could be happening in autumn here. Yeah, you're going to be getting in a nice relationship. But this other, this other person, I don't know what the fuck they got going on. What's this lipstick? You're elevating. You've outgrown whoever this is. And their love life is going to be fucked up. Yeah, karmic. This is a karmic. Bookshelf, karmic lessons. Then we have, yeah, bubblegum, fun, flirty, and teas. Yeah, red hot chili pepper, intense passion, lust, and desire. Yeah, black umbrella, dark times, closed off, guilt, regrets. Reluctant, stubborn with this donkey car. So, yeah, somebody here, they're getting their karma. Whatever they tried to inflict on you is coming back. Whatever it was. They could have kept you in a very lustful energy, a very sexual energy. They wanted to paint you out to be a hoe. 
or to keep dealing with people that are not healthy for you they did some type of spell work to block this here now it's being released okay so let me know in the comments guys how you feel about this if your intuition you know is telling you that that's what happened i feel like this is confirmation that it did so let me know in the comments like comment subscribe guys turn your notification bell on to all make sure you guys press the all button so you guys won't miss any of my readings from when i post and i will talk to you guys later bye